Hey folks, it's me, Dead Jack here, and welcome back to Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Y'all know the drill, so we're just gonna hop right on into it and go on to room 700 in this part. Um, this should be uh, probably the last semi-tame part, I would imagine. I'd imagine once I hit room 750 is when things start getting really crazy. So, we'll see how it goes. I don't expect this to be a walk in the park, though. I still know there's going to be a lot of things ready to kill me and attack me like last time. Do I still have my axe? I do still have my axe. Any new artwork? It does not look like it. So, again... We're looking for room 610, because I'm sure room 610 is where we're going to get some new stuff thrown at us that we have not seen before, which is good, because I'm always looking for this game to scare the pants off of me. Sometimes it does well, other times it does not. Really hope that I don't get a hallway like this when I have to deal with the puppet. So I'm sure the puppet is going to come back again at some point. And I don't appreciate these really, really long, long hallways. <clears throat> I mean, that's just going to make it take forever for me to get through. I do hope we get something kind of cool again, though, like the cat from a couple episodes ago. New games? No, no new games. Okay. But I would appreciate some, some pretty cool stuff like we got before. But then again, I'll be fine with spooks, too. So we'll just have to see what I end up being dealt at room 610. If I can ever get there. There we go. These hallways are huge. Huge hallways. Is there a note? Okay, it doesn't say anything. Makes me wonder, have there been notes there that whole time and I just kept missing them? Because I've been through those rooms. I don't even know how many times. Oh, someone died here. Okay. Good to know. Ooh. Oh, I have a flashlight. I have a flashlight and an axe. Hmm. This looks like the kind of area where the, the spider would come after me. Can't go in these doors. Hmm. Oh, this is neat. This old place is somehow even worse than the new GL labs. Although it seems to have been constructed with a much larger budget than the new lab, nothing works quite right. Hello. Do you mind? I'm reading. I can see why I can see why it was abandoned so quickly. I wonder if there really is anything here worth salvaging. Do you mind? Ooh. Oh, I have lights now. Okay. Why do I feel like that was a bad move? This is kind of cool. It's kind of spacey. Can I get through? Hello? I cannot get through. Okay, well, let's try the other way. Okay, I can get through this way. There's no jump button, so I couldn't I couldn't jump over it. Anything? No. Uh, wait. Okay, no. I thought I saw something on the floor there. Um... I'm going to explore a little bit. More boxes. No boxes. Maybe it's dangerous to go down these side hallways, but I, I don't care. I'm going to I'm going to try it out and see what happens. This is kind of cool. This is this is kind of spacey. Ooh. None of these doors work. Oh, do I have to go in here? Oh, no, I'm in here. Ooh. I don't like this. Okay, what do you say? Spooky just said that there were things we needed to salvage from this place. I'm starting to worry that a loose specimen may be included in the list of things for us to retrieve. The power just shut off again. Is everything broken in here? No, something's clearly trying to kill us. Very clearly. Something is definitely trying to... Ooh, ooh, move, move, move. Don't get stuck. Move. Give me the power. Give me the power. 
Whoa! Ow! Ow! Open! Open! Whoa! What was that? Oh god, what are you? What are you? Ooh! Are you just... Do you have just a ton of hair? What in the world is that? Who sent Rapunzel after me? That's a messed up Rapunzel. Whoa! Don't mess with my eyeballs like that! Oof! Okay, okay, you are messing with me. You are messing with me big time. Ooh, that makes it hard to see where I'm going for a few seconds. It is just freaky. Holy crap. Oh, don't you try and scare me, you purple whatever you are. Ooh, here we go, here we go. Just keep running. Do you mind? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, God, where am I? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, what, what, what? Uh, ah! Is that what's doing that? Ah, I don't know. What's with my vision? What is with my vision? Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's new things going on here. Hello. Just run. Don't know what that is. Not looking back. I don't care. Just gonna run. Just gonna run. Oh, man. Woo, my health is having some issues here. My health is having some issues here. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. There we go. I hate when it does it right at a turn, because then it's so hard to know what to... Ooh. What in the world? Now you have nothing to fear. Now you have nothing to think. Follow your selfish desires. Follow your natural instinct. After all, you're just an animal. It's much easier than trying to think. What? I still had so much health. I died. How did I die? I had so much health. What? What? I had so much health. What in the world? Okay, well... We're just going to go again. Let's get right back into it. I'll go ahead and do a, a quick time lapse here and catch us back up to room 610. So see y'all at room 610. Hang on. What happens if I hit this? Ha! Ah, nope. I can't free the brain. Okay, continue time lapse. Okay, here we are, back at room 610. So let's go ahead and start the power. I'll do that just so it registers that I read it, and then I'm gonna get moving. Is this one, yep, that one's still blocked off. Okay, so what I'm going to try this time, I don't know if it's the right thing to do, but what I'm going to try this time is see about swatting at some of these guys with my axe there and see what that does. I don't know if it's going to help out at all, but I'm going to give it a shot and see how it goes. And there goes the power. Do I need to read the thing? There's not a thing for me to read in here. Okay. Still don't appreciate the crawling through the vents. Boop. There we go. Just to register that I read that. And does that just pop out when the... Yep. Ow. That just pops out when the light comes on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that was the wrong thing to do. Yeah, okay. Ah. Okay, so no, don't swing the axe. 
What do I do about that? Okay, took a minute to figure that out. I think I got it figured out right now, so... Um, looked it up real quick. Did my homework. So what this is... Um, those... The thing chasing me, the big... Big looking thing that I was saying looked like Rapunzel and had tons of hair. That's really just goo apparently on it. Uh, but that and the leech that could be seen chasing me was the same thing. So apparently if I'm too close, like I just tried with the axe to take it out real close, its first form deals really high damage, which is why I died really fast. Um, and its second form, it'll turn into that leech when I get too far away from it. And the leech doesn't deal much damage, but it is way faster than I am. So, what I'm going to try and do then is keep my eye on it. Keep relatively close to it, but not too close to it. But, you know, try not to, to um, make it change to the leech. Or just be close enough to it where it can just smack me like it did there and hurt me a lot. So... I'm going to give that the go and see if I can do that because that's what I'm apparently supposed to be doing. I didn't want to make another video where I just die four times and then I'm like, alright guys, see you later. No, I'm, I'm actually going to try and beat this one here. So I'm going to stick with it until I get to room 700. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights. I want to try and read that third thing before I turn on the lights. Because I think it only triggers when I turn on the lights. I think I have enough time that I can... Um... Actually, hang on. Let me see if there's something in that other room. I think I have enough time that I can... Um... There is something in this other room. This facility is quite odd. Some of the equipment doesn't seem quite right. Almost as if it were designed for people without hands. I'm also not sure if it's just f uh, faulty electronics, but the power keeps fluctuating and weird noises are coming from the air ducts. Yeah, no kidding. Um, okay, there was something in here. Um, now I forgot what I was going to say. Damn! Uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, right, right. I think it triggers when I turn on the light, so I'm going to see if I can read that note on the floor, because I'm curious what the note on the floor says. Um, there we go. I'm curious what the note on the floor says, but I keep turning on the lights really fast, because I want to be able to see, but that's what's making this thing trigger. So, let's see, boink, let's see what this does. So let me see. Let me stand here for a second. Okay, it's not triggering. You have to keep it close. It becomes something else when it gets too far away. Something I can't outrun. Oh! All I needed to do was read this and I would have known how to beat it. Oh, man! Oh, come on, me. Come on, me. So this is kind of like another thing I have to move sort of backwards for. Hello. Let me let you catch back up. Come on, man. So slow. Come on. Oh, jeez. Come on. There you are. Man, you're not that fast, are you? You're really not. That's your plan. This is this is how he gets you. He walks at a half a mile an hour, just slow as can be, going going like grandma pace. And then you try and get away real fast, and and then he changes. Hello, are you? Hello. Oh, hey, hey, hey. There you are. How you doing? Ooh, yeah. See, that's not hair. That's not hair at all. Who boy? Who boy? You're just creepy as can be, aren't you? Now, this is just a short enough room. I could just run on through. That was what I was saying. Short rooms, you can just run and be fine. It's the long rooms that you gotta kinda wait 
take your time. Let him catch up a little bit. Man, you really... Don't compete in any races like this. Switch to your, your leech form for any races, because good lord. Are you leech right now? You are... No, you're not. You just think I'm really close. Hello. There you are. So the screen flashes when he changes. That's what's going on here. Okay, I could just outrun you in this one. Haha! -ha! Nope. Yeah, there we go. I figured you out now. Which I could have if my dumb self had just read the note! That's all I needed to do was read the note! Man, you are slow! Come on! Ugh. This is what it's like when my cousin has a foot race with me. Only I'm the slow thing back there. <laughs> it's not that I'm really slow. It's just that my cousin is that fast. I can't help it. He's an all-American wrestler. He can, he can outrun me no problem. He's like three inches taller than me and an all-American wrestler. I have no hope. This is this is what it's like to be him. Alright. Woo. That one was a little more intense. Getting to room 630 now. So we're getting to where I've been getting chased for about 20 rooms? Ish? So, it should chill out here soon. Hopefully. This is one... They're giving you a challenge, of course. And I, I appreciate the challenge, because it makes me kind of focus while I'm playing. But at the same time... It loses its creep factor after a few minutes. Because, see, at first, that was terrifying. But the fact that now, just for a good... I don't know, 15, 20 rooms. I've just had to keep away from it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, stupid leech form. Um, the fact that like 20 rooms, I've had to just sort of barely keep away from it. It's not all that threatening anymore. Now it's just kind of more like... Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm bored now. Because the thing trying to kill me is too slow or too fast. Locked? What do you mean locked? What do you mean locked? Locked? Ah, what? What? Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Why is this not working? Why is this not working? Okay, can you be here? Can you be here? Can you be here? Oh, God. I'm almost dead. Oh, I'm almost dead. I'm gonna wait a minute. I'm trying to buy myself more time here. Oh, stupid locked door. Oh, why did they have to put a locked door there? <sighs> okay, at least the goo is going away. Like, my screen is less gooey. Because I figured out the first time I died, my health bar doesn't necessarily matter. But if I get a, if I get a bunch of this goop on me, um, then I die. Not sure how I feel about a monster that gets its juices all over me. I'm not sure I really appreciate that. All right, game, I'm not going to make fun of this not being scary anymore because that's when you were a butthole and locked a door on me. Am I free? Oh, finally. Woo. That was tedious, wasn't it? Locked again. See, that's what nearly got me killed earlier. Game. <sighs> It's all right now. It's all right. I'm good. I got the, the really awesome music going. So we're all hopeful now. 
I wish some of the rooms were different colors. It's only purple and green. I was hoping I'd run into some, like, blood red... Ro well, I suppose I did with, like, the flesh walls that come up um, when that faceless uh, monster's coming after me. I need to learn all the monsters' names. All these monsters have names um, that I think people have given them. I don't know. I know there's some lore to this that I don't really know. I need to learn their names because they have names. Um, but I, when I got to deal with the like fleshy walls, I guess then technically I'm in a red room or uh, a static room sometimes. You know, if you had one of those old TVs and it didn't have receptions or receptions, reception, and you just got like the what what my parents called ant wars. That's kind of what some of those rooms are like. Um, when it just gets kind of staticky. But we're almost to room 650 now. So we're, we're halfway there. It made a noise at me. I wanted to make sure I wasn't being chased again. So we're about halfway there. Halfway to room 700. And just a little bit closer to finishing off this game. And I... I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also not at the same time. Uh, ooh, new artwork. You're in a cage. That sucks. Um, I'm looking forward to it being done, but I'm not looking forward to it at the same time because this is the first game series I've uploaded to YouTube. Well, this is really the first game series I've ever recorded of myself. Um, Y'all probably know already just because you can watch so many YouTubers that have been doing this for years. Um, I am brand new to this. I had never recorded a game before. I've never before this edited any videos before. Um, never done, you know, any of that. So for me, it's been, uh, you're not going to do anything. I'm just, I'll try. Hello. Okay. Nope. Not doing anything. Um, I've never done anything like this before. So to do it with this game, which has been a really good game and a really fun one to play, um, in a way, I'll, I'll kind of miss it just because it's, you know, me getting... Hello, you're new. It's me getting out of my comfort zone and, you know, being a little adventurous, doing something I'd never done before and kind of pushing myself a little bit and seeing what I can do and trying to get you know better about it you know playing with the videos playing with recording playing with the editors stuff like that and just trying to get better at it um it hasn't always been easy i've actually tried to record one or two games um while i've been playing this but for one reason or another there's something so wrong with the video or audio usually the video, that then I can't use it. So I'm having to fight with the settings to be like, what is causing all of these issues? What What's going on here? Um, but it's still been a bunch of fun, especially playing this game. This game has been a lot of fun. It's given me some really good scares. So I'm enjoying this game. But that's why I'm glad I've still got a good 340 rooms left. Ooh, chandelier room. I say that every time. I don't know why. I can never get over just seeing a chandelier. You know, I keep running into those uh, green rooms, but I don't think I've run into that goopy guy for like 400 rooms now. So, I don't know what the point of the green rooms are anymore if that guy's not showing up ever. It was only creepy when he was chasing me through it. You know, because there's this green slimy guy chasing you, and there's green slime in the floor. Are you who I think you are? I think you are who I think you are. Oh, more walking backwards. Wonderful. Just what I wanted to do. My favorite thing. Going backwards through rooms again. Uh, nope, I need to stay looking that way. Nope. Here we go. Because <sighs> this is the puppet. 
I know this. This is the puppet chasing me. I know by the music. This is the puppet. I'm being chased by the puppet for the thousandth time now. There's the door. Hup! You're not getting me. Yeah, see, I knew it. There you are, you ugly jerk. He's probably my least favorite. It's not... It's not like he's scary or anything. He's he's not necessarily scary to me. Um, it's more tedious. That's what gets me. Just how tedious it is dealing with him. And having to walk completely backwards through every single room because he's here. To me, that just... Ah, that gets so... So annoying after a while. It's kind of like the last monster, where it's like, you're not really scary anymore. I know you're meant to be, like, a challenge to the player, but you're just more annoying at this point than scary. Which is why I prefer the spooks. You know, I, I like something to run from. Something that's just terrifying to get away from. That's why I like the faceless monster that, like makes all the walls fleshy and scary that's kind of my favorite one because that's one where it is just like run away whereas this is just tedious and annoying yeah i've learned i can't just wait for the music to cut off i gotta wait a minute i know you you've stabbed me in the butt before because i stopped walking too soon i know so this has ended up being a video that's a bit more tedious than scary the the you know the flashlight and dark rooms you know and crawling through the vents that was scary that was creepy this this is not scary this is not creepy this is just walking backwards through hallways which after a while it's just come on Where's the door? Where's the door? Where's the door's that way? You just stay there. That's that's my only problem with these two, with the puppet and this last monster that was chasing me. Is they're kind of tedious. Cause see, he's he's not scary anymore. Him popping up doesn't get that, you know, huh, ah, reaction. It doesn't it doesn't spook me. I appreciate it the first time, because the first time you're dealing with him, yeah, sure, he's scary. But this, you know, by the time you've done this for a while, not so much. This is, what, the, the third time he's appeared. There we go. This is the third time he's appeared to chase me. And by this point, uh, Spook's gone. Oh, I was wondering what the heck happened. I was like, did I get a gold coin? Oh, I don't appreciate this. Uh, this is hard to tell where he is. Because I have to kind of keep eye contact in his general direction to keep him still. But see, this is not spooky anymore. <laughs> I like most of this game. I do. I just do have an issue with, like, these two characters that... Ow. Oh, you were in the wall? You jerk. Just because I'm calling you out for being tedious and repetitive doesn't mean you get to stab me in the butt. I have an issue with these last two scary uh, monsters. Because at this point, it it went from being scary monsters to, like, scary with quotation marks. Now it's just like, come on, let me get on with my life. Yep, still there. With that ugly smile on your face. You're not getting me, man. I know how to beat you now. As bad as you made me look the first time we met, now I'm making you look this bad all the time. There we go. There we go. 
Uh, okay, so now we're almost to room 700 with those chases. First, you know, first one starting off scary and then being a little more, uh, and then the second one, uh, so I, I was I was hoping for a bit new stuff, a bit more new stuff, but again, I know once I get to room 750, we're in the last leg of the game, and that's when it's definitely going to be a lot scarier. Okay, the, the soundtrack is just kind of picking up a little bit here, so now I'm a little curious if something's behind me. Um, but still, this is a good episode. It is still fun to, you know, the, the initial scare and then just figuring out how to deal with that one, one monster. Um, but initially, that was, that was terrifying. I liked the flashlight and dark rooms. That was awesome. I love those games. That's why at some point, um, on my list of games that I need to play at some point is Dead Space. I've not played Dead Space. Freedom! Okay, nope, that's not working. I need to play Dead Space. I've never played it um, because I couldn't afford it when it first came out. Um, I don't even know if I had an Xbox 360 yet. I might have still been rocking a PS2. Um, but I had a few friends that had it. And uh, so I got to see bits and pieces of it when I went to, you know, my buddy's house and he'd be playing before I got there. And it looked freaking awesome. So, and as well as like terrifying. So that's something I need to play at some point. That's on my gamer bucket list. Um, and who knows? I, I might do a playthrough. If that's something you guys would want to watch, I would figure out how to record it and I would start uh, posting it because I have no idea of any of the storylines. So you'd get to see me legitimately be terrified. Um, but it looked a lot like Doom 3 and Doom 3 was an amazing game I got to play and that was terrifying. I'm hoping that's what the last 300 rooms of this game are kind of like. It's a bit more spook. A little scarier. A bit more threat, you know? Because right now, it hadn't been too much too much threat. It's been more tedious than anything else. But still a fun game, though. I've had a lot of fun playing this game. It's just... That, that mechanic of... Yeah, okay, tree stump. Uh, you again, jeez. That mechanic of, you know, staying sort of close to the to the monster, but not real Like, you can't just run from them, but you can't run up to them either. You gotta walk through the rooms backwards. That, that just gets a little tedious after a while, and it slows everything way down and kind of takes you out of the game so i don't know maybe i'm being a little too harsh on it because i got those two monsters back to back where i have to walk through the room backwards but to me that just kind of i'm not too immersed in the game at that point it's like yeah just walk backwards that keep that one a little close but otherwise just just basically walk backwards through the room um so probably if i had gotten like the spider for the second half of that and i was getting chased by the spider That'd be perfectly fine. Because I only got that once. But man, I hate spiders. So seeing a giant spider charging down the hallway at me. That would have been great. That would have been awesome. Uh, but anyway, that's all the time I've got for this episode. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and um, keep doing this all the way up till the end of the series. And then I'll start posting some other stuff. Just because we're already almost there, I might as well finish this off. So I'm going to put a link to the game in the description below, as always. That way, if you guys want to find it on Steam and play it for yourself, just find it in the description. Remember to like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you guys later.